I'm Eric Berlin, Raymore City Manager, and this is your City of Raymore video news update for February 14th, 2014. City crews dealt with challenging ice and snow events in the last two weeks. The first storm left a thin layer of ice on city streets that was very difficult to remove due to the nature of the coating, which is not easily plowed, and the low temperatures that followed, which made salt ineffective. Fortunately, temperatures rose and the sun came out, allowing for the ice to melt or be removed just in time for the major snowfall that came on Tuesday, February 4th. For this snowstorm, the city used a strategy that involved partially clearing all streets and then coming back to clear the streets more fully. Council members Jeffrey Stevens and Ryan Westcote and I attended the Missouri Municipal League's legislative conference in Jefferson City earlier this week. Cities are political subdivisions of the state and can be greatly affected by actions of the state legislature. Attendees at the conference learned about proposed legislation that might affect the city and met with our state legislators. A city contractor is busy lining various city sanitary sewer mains that are susceptible to what is called inflow and infiltration. Inflow and infiltration is when stormwater makes its way into the city sanitary sewer system. Clean water entering the sanitary sewer system results in increased costs due to the need to have larger pump stations and having pumps run more often than necessary, which increases utility costs. This year, efforts will be focused in subdivisions south of Lucy Webb Road and west of Madison Street. At the City Council's last meeting on February 10th, the Council approved the issuance of tax increments financing bonds. This is the final step in the process of providing economic development incentives that led to the opening of Sands Club in the Raymore Galleria last October. Raymore Parks and Recreation's inaugural offering of a futsal league is currently winding down its season. For those unfamiliar with futsal, it is a small-sided indoor soccer game played on a basketball court that uses a smaller, heavier ball with less bounce. This fast-paced game provides precision passing and ball control training, as well as a good workout alternative for soccer teams during the winter. The futsal season concludes on March 2nd, giving way to the start of outdoor recreational soccer games on March 22nd. I'm Raymore City Manager Eric Berlin, and this has been your City of Raymore video news update. For more information, check out the city's website, www.raymore.com, or call City Hall at 331-0488.